Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 61 In the Beatitudes, Jesus taught the secret of eradicating sinful natures starting from pride. Pride suits man's nature and is easily adopted as a lifestyle. Unchecked pride grows to anger, yet another subtle negative emotion easily taken as a natural trait. Sin is pleasurable and entertaining, whereas growing in godliness, developing in Christ-likeness, is painful for the flesh. It needs to have strong will and determination to follow the Holy Spirit. It heeds his leading and overcome the root of basic problems from pride and developing humility, meekness and slowly achieving the joyfulness. This is God's calling and perfect will for every believer. Jesus began his ministry preaching the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God. Both the terms mean the same and are used interchangeably in the first three Gospels. God has a master plan prepared beforehand and everything taking place since the beginning of creation has been working accordingly to it. Making of man according to his image, his likeness, was declared and begun according to the same plan. And Jesus came into the world fulfilling the same plan and purpose. In Eden, Adam and Eve yielded to Satan and as a result, sin and death entered the world. God's plan was to make man like himself, not a puppet man. In the process of perfection, Jesus came, took the sin upon himself, paying the price of sin. He shed his blood on the cross. Now man could be forgiven for his sins by accepting Jesus as Savior and by walking in obedience to his word and spirit, which could eradicate the sinful nature and step by step grow in godliness and Christlikeness. Jesus, by his death and resurrection, took man further towards fulfilling God's plan. Jesus did not stop at the Beatitudes, but he went further, teaching the kingdom living to be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.